personally, like just my moral compass, my, my perspective is, you know, I, I think that if somebody's giving their DNA, it should be up to them whether they're going to uh, allow law enforcement to test it. We know that they're, they're, they're using these genealogy databases. We, we know that they're using that as a tool. I have a funny feeling there's going to be a lot of curtailing of that, um, primarily forcing them to get subpoenas for that. I really believe that that's going to be the direction they go because I've never seen anybody be able to get information just by submitting. I mean, if it's if it's if it's a tool that you don't need a subpoena and it's open to the public, then why wouldn't you use it, right? Why wouldn't law enforcement utilize this tool? So that you know they shouldn't be in there. Why wouldn't they be in there? Uh, is the first question, you know, and maybe something I should have asked myself 20 years ago when I took this test, right? Because you're not looking in the future. And I can tell you at 20 years, I didn't have the experiences that I have now at 43. But another part of me is like, you know, I trusted this company, you know, they have a fiduciary duty to me. I'm the one that paid them, right? So I'm kind of conflicted with this whole genealogy situation. And if you guys remember, I was one of the first um, creators that actually reached out to Ancestry DNA by email and asked them, would they be assisting law enforcement in, in this case? I never got a response back, but it was like literally a week later, we started hearing about this genealogy. So, you know, it might have just been one of those things where it was already in the works, not that I triggered anything or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. But I just find, found it, you know, quite ironic that I'm reaching out to these DNA ancestry sites, you know, back last year, I believe it was like in November or December, asking if they were going to be assisting and never got a response back. And then all of a sudden we find out that they use genealogy. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I thought that was pretty interesting. And I'm glad we took the time to reach out to the genealogy sites to ask them if they were going to be assisting. Um, we one thing I found really interesting is 23andMe doesn't offer um, law enforcement um, your data. It's not even offered to law enforcement, 23andMe. That was the only one that they identified as not um, allowing law enforcement to search uh, their database that I could see. Just FYI for the people that, you know, like to keep their privacy pri private and, and still want the benefits of being able to check your, your medical and your heritage and all that other stuff. According to me, it, or according to this, it, it sounds like 23andMe does not offer that to law enforcement. enforcement 23 and me that was the only one that they identified as not um allowing law enforcement to search uh their database that i could see just fyi for the people that you know like to keep their privacy pri private and and still want the benefits of being able to check your your medical and your heritage and all that other stuff according to me it, or according to this it, it sounds like 23 and me does not offer that to law enforcement so that's good so for those that are concerned or curious, 23andMe sounds like it would be the way you would want to go. And quite frankly, it's funny because after I took the Ancestry DNA um, test, it was like about another few years later, um, 23andMe came out with the medical stuff, you know, where they, they can tell you what your body, you know, and stuff like that. So I thought it was interesting. I thought it was interesting.